what's up guys before we get into the episode please we've been growing so amazingly but guys we need you to like subscribe and if you're listening to this podcast right now stop go rate us five stars leave a review on apple spotify anywhere that you're listening if you're on youtube give it a like give it a comment these things really help us out thank you so much for watching let's get into the show we love you guys part so (laughs) (laughs) you don't even have to i have literally forgot that's you, bro? Oh, you know we're <laughs> updating the intro, okay? That's you? I thought it was like a we're, model. We're updating the intro, TJ. Don't... This ep- the show started a while ago. This I'm, I'm like three evolutions since then. Uh, guys, welcome to Doped Up and Dying. The Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. show. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is your other co-host, Kevin Sanchez. And sitting across the table oh. is the man, the, oh. the the false philosopher himself, <laughs> DC Williams. Oh, we got, some, up, we got some Tiny Juice IPAs. Can I get one? <laughs> this is guy, this, this from guy, our job. He just said, <laughs> he just said he I gotta just stop, drinking. stop drinking. Yo, this is my bag, you, though. And then he grabs a hardcore beer. Not like DC's a light, always in his bag. Light. Always in his bag, dog. And guys, sitting okay. beside him, let's get ready to our guest, our amazing guest, really funny comedian, right here in New York City, from New Jersey, welcome to the podcast, the doped up and dying TJ Francis. Check it out on his podcast, Love Patty's podcast. Hello, Love that was way too uh, much. You could just that was that was <laughs> no, felt like a, a lot. I'm like, I'll just be a real with you. Guy. I fuck up so many <laughs> intros. Yeah, I watched Natalie's face go. That's good intro this week. Yeah, it's pretty good. That, that being intro. said. Something wrong with the screen, you notice? I'm just going to oh, point out the yeah, elephant in the room yeah, real yeah. quick before I there's edit, a, a fix it. Why is no need for apologies logo oh, right dude, here? Oh, dude, black square. Shout out. <laughs> black <laughs> this for the <laughs> fucking <laughs> Black Lives Matter <laughs> stuff. TJ, so. we're yeah. on the same was, wave, that's wavelength. That's why we're here. Now, I'll, I'll want, find the zero box. You want, you want, you want, to, take, you want to take your pause? Um, no, just go with it. There will be a zero box before the end of the... T- before 10 minutes okay. passes. Okay. And guys, I, I was gonna introduce you up top. Let's introduce her right now. The woman that you hear, the 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 the, the fingers behind the operation, <laughs> those bi fingers on the keys, on the keys. Those thank you. That was the word. Thank you. Those bi fingers. Bi-sexual those bisexual fingers. fingers. Yeah, I, I, Natalie Ice. I don't, Natalie think, I don't think you can call Natalie bisexual. Anymore. Are they not? I think after fingers? two years of being with a woman, you're just a lesbian. Yeah, yeah. straight up, Nat. Nah, dude. No, no. Nat, why are you capping? You don't no, like girls dudes. bisexual dudes. If you're, yeah, yeah that you're, you're gay. Cocky, but the, you, you, the you, moment you you kiss a guy. Suck a dick. Oh, dude, I you, kissed it, dude. You, you kissed the no Oh, yeah. How many dudes have you kissed? Probably three or four. Three or four Probably. dudes? I'm about the same number. Yeah, but not like, not like, oh, I'm attracted to you. It's like, ah, I girls, girls be like, yo, go yeah, kiss. I never, I never <laughs> chewed. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> listen, you guys never showered with a couple dudes <laughs> after <laughs> baseball practice, and you're like, yo, let's kiss, and like, no, He said, nah, girls be like, yo, guys should kiss. In like high school and shit, I'm not gay. of a chick you gotta be? Nah. For me to even even think about nope. kissing DC. I saw a girl kiss DC yesterday. And I was disgusted. I didn't say DC. I said, but she, I said, but to be f- nah. <laughs> No, I hate when you do that, bro. <laughs> They're gonna watch the podcast, bro. All right. Uh, did oh, everyone that's do a their real life um, thing he brought in? Yeah. yeah. Did everyone do their cum study? To be fair, she was kissing this dude. Too. No, she, no, she wasn't. She was trying. She was to. trying. You were letting her touch you a lot. She, she, listen, I can't stop girls from touching me, dog. Right. DC, did, uh, did everyone do their cum study? Uh. No, I forgot. I didn't my do my. Co- I'm didn't. sorry, Sarah Edelman. I Wait, apologize. Why you, you were the one that wanted us to do it. Yeah. I know. I brought her on the show. How are we supposed to do the Come Olympics? I don't see bro. Olympics. There's. I'm sure there's some spear come like laying around my room. I could probably just but, send it into her. I I have. I ran. I, I did my study today. I came in a fucking cup today. Yeah. Hell yeah. I saw, and believe I'm it or not, not Sarah no was there, but they they honey dicked hey. me. There was another nurse to help me in the room. And today we're here with our nurse, nurse Lemare. Nurse Lemare. Nurse Lemare. 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 Look at that orange cum, dude. What is that you <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows, bro. Oh, he I knows. Was it, I was dude. not expecting. Oh! Oh! <laughs> see, now I'm older. Then I'm like, oh. <laughs> so this dude get spanked on stage last night? I can't see Yeah, hell yeah. So is this, is this good? What is that? That's a, it's a little spicy cum. <laughs> yeah. Where Are you sure this is the Kevin? It is cayenne cum. This is Dominican cum, dude. Kevin, did you? Is this you, dude? I have tested like four times what for For what? STDs? HPV? Right what is in here? Babies? I'm not going to lie. Whatever is in there looks fire, bro. Right? Yeah, Don't you want does. halal right now? So what, really why do you have yeah. this here? I thought we were all going to do it. Do what? What, what, are you, what are you doing? There's no way. We were doing the cum epics. That's not cum, is it? So TJ, uh, it, it's mixed. 
Um, is so, it for real? Bro, if you want to leave that's... right now. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, everything I was saying earlier, that my was My name's literally school, written on the top. Yeah, my name's written on the top. So uh, we were supposed to do, Sarah Edelman, is a, she's a comedian who's also a scientist and had a cum study. So we did, we advised the cum Olympics. The reason for the cum who, study, by the way, did you, is because fertility. Uh, there's a fertility issue amongst men. Yeah, so men are not producing babies, and on top of that, I just read a study. Not read a study. I saw it on, on the Instagram. Yeah, yeah. nobody reads. Studies, no one reads. Yeah. Except for but Brian I just Jake. saw. A, I just saw a study that said women by twenty forty, thirty five percent of women are going to be um, yeah. no families. They're not going to have no, no babies and no marriages. Yeah, yeah. they're just not going to. They're going to be. They're going to be playing it. with crystals, raising cats, and yeah, yeah. Why do you always get on so cats, like yeah. meme like? No, no, I get. I, it gets it. too real. I think that's what it is, right? <laughs> all the girls in Williamsburg. Wait, so are all like, they're saying all women and or women are not going to have families? Are not going to have families? They're not going to go for families. That's because half of the women are bisexual nowadays. Natalie, it's your uh, fault. <laughs> you think that's what it is? Uh, no, I think it's what... Yeah. I don't know. Don't get me in trouble. Okay, okay but we were we were supposed to do the cum Olympics. Yeah. Where you find out who's the most fertile, who can have the most babies. We all know who's going to be Kevin. No, no, I don't think so. Nick Cannon. And <laughs> I'm going to ask you when's the next one. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah, no, it's fun. definitely the guy that shit, like cum shits. Oh, and then, and then, yo, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I was getting shit. to it. I was getting oh. to it. And then I, I, I'm sure our fans are sick of hearing it, so I'll just lost by it. Uh, DC uh, comes when he shits sometimes, and we were gonna he try likes, to find out it, if <laughs> his regular cum is more fertile or less fertile than his shit cum. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> are you hard and shitting? Nah, that's the thing. I'm not it's hard. It's interesting, right? I'm not hard. I'm flaccid. You are bro. flaccid coming. Flaccid, just straight. Bloop. By the way, I would like to. How Nada, old are can you? you? Pull up I'm the 29. comments from that clip yeah. on YouTube. That's a problem, dude. You should see. A I doctor. think it is too, right? I'm yeah. gonna see a doctor. I'm gonna see a doctor. Someone, someone Actually, commented I on YouTube. Not, I heard it's not. Remember, we had a, the uh, we had um. Some, no, Sarah was stumped. No, is this Sarah, the gayest Sarah podcast you guys have had so far? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. buddy. Okay. Last buddy? time was worse. Right. This is about on par. Somebody, right. co- somebody commented on YouTube though, on the clip where we were talking about it. They were like, "You yeah. might have an inflamed prostate, bro." I was like, "What the fuck is an inflamed?" <laughs> That'd be a prostate, horrible bro. way to find yeah, out something like, really like, wrong. Inflamed prostate <laughs> sounds like just freshly fucked, freshly yeah. fucked butt. What? Yeah. Inflamed prostate? That's freshly fucked butt. They're saying your butt is. That's what I say, bro. After I have anal, I go, "Yo, I inflamed the hell out of that prostate." Inflamed you, baby. Because he was yelling Damn. earlier. In a Stop comment. talking. Oh. And we're back to the podcast, guys. Jesus Christ. Technical difficulties. Come in a cup. We're okay. We got it. Uh, you don't TJ. even have to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell them. I can tell them anything I want. Um, again, we're here with TJ Francis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I want to say something, TJ. Yeah. Solid fucking mustache. You oh, thank you. Yeah, how long have you been you working on that, bro? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pandemic thing. Okay. I'm not, I'm not wild. Like that. See ya, buddy. On the gate, boys are leaving. On the gate, on the gate. On the um, gate, shout out to them. What up, Sherrod? Is that Sherrod? Sure, yeah. Not Sherrod, my bad. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, the clean, how is bad, the black bro. guy more racist than me? That's crazy. I'm so happy the black dude did it. I apologize, bro. I apologize. He looks nothing like Sherrod. I just dog. said that. It was an S name. It was uh, Simeon Good. Man, man listen. God <laughs> damn it, DC. <laughs> All right, see you later, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, TJ, you fucking rule. Um, TJ fucking rules. Okay, I want to say this. TJ, TJ got good energy. I was yeah, gonna yeah. come in and and I, I tried doing this on the podcast before, and I was just, I'm, it's, all, it's all jokes, it's all love. TJ almost wanted to hate you. Yeah, most people do. Oh, I, 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 me too. No, no, no. People get that, say that to me all the I, time, like a compliment. They're like, I thought I would have hated you, dude. <laughs> like, right. I like want, like not wanted to hate you, but like literally, like was like not ready to. Yeah, like I, I didn't know you, but you like, weren't ready to like. I wasn't ready to like. And you got a Kevin, face like you don't like people, though. Yeah, I, then, listen, Kevin I get knows, it. Kevin, uh, was it that Kevin introduced us, but Kevin was like, yo, TJ's a dope-ass fucking dude. Yeah. He should be in the pod. And I kind of was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we were at um, Comedy Shop. Yeah. Finally had a chance to sit down, yeah, that was talk funny. to the dude, have a fucking soda, just talk shit. And I was like, oh, this dude's dope. This dude's, yeah. this, this dude's, part, this dude's down. So now, I want I, back to one thing I want to think, yeah, though. said had a soda. This had a soda. <laughs> I'd be drinking a sodies. <laughs> okay. I'd be drinking sodies right. before the and set. We, we had a couple tequila. of pops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pops. <laughs> tequila yeah. after the set. Every, the whole story was dope. Then he's like, we had some sodas. I was like, what? I do enjoy some good lollipops. Are you sober? <laughs> I'm sober, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I am yeah. sober. That makes sense. Yeah, Dick. That makes sense. I was just trying to relapse. Yeah, it's a real problem, bro. No, it's fine. It's fine. I am sober, though. No, so, and then we're sitting there talking, and it's funny. I, the reason why I'm saying this is because back to the mustache. You're probably never going to be able to shave your mustache. No, no, no. I it want to. It is a part of your bro. fucking yeah. identity. 
Yeah, I'm cool with it, though. I like it. I don't like it without. Your podcast logo is going to be like your face with the mustache outline. Like, yeah. I, 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 would, I, I think you switch it up sometimes, though. I think some Like, like handlebar? One, one year you do the handlebars, yeah. one year. Well, I can't grow a full wow. beard. I don't know if I could do all that shit. You guys nah, you oh, could. this is handlebar? No. Yeah. No, you know, down, no, no, down, no, no, yeah. no. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I mean, you mean the roly poly? I mean the, the roly poly. Yeah. You do that for you. Well, I think yeah, I've seen it with the roly poly. The G Mike. Nah, not on yeah. purpose. Maybe oh. if it's too long and shit. But you know what's funny, bro? That literally is the number one thing. People are like, I want to hate you. And I'm like, And then I see that goddamn stash. Isn't it? Did you think you're. Wait. Because what? I have a, like a Connecticut face. Do you think your career? Do you yeah. think like you've gotten booked slightly more because of the stash? Well, like can so you I didn't... any success to the stash? Well, I mean, uh, this is lame. I don't like talking about this, but like I'm before the okay, pandemic, before the pandemic, I barely did comedy, and then about the pandemic, I was like, all right, I'm all in. I got fired. I'm all in, and then that's when I had the mustache. So that's kind of yeah. It is funny that it's like, yo, dude, that's a solid stash. She's like, bro, I haven't shaved in three years it just only grows here no yeah no i have to <laughs> like it. that though i have to trim like it though i have to trim it oh, has any has, like has i have like has anyone been like like how often do you get solid stash like a nice how solid, often do how I often do you get like a compliment on the stash oh a decent amount i mean not really people Dude, it's just it's like an me. easy way to for people to just yeah. if people want to talk to me and they don't know me it's I, an easy yeah, conversation i think there's a theory and they think i care yeah. people think i'm gonna be like oh thank you so much yeah, let me yeah. tell i don't give a fuck that's why it's a so cool like tj guys with yeah. the mustache, but, yeah. but that's like why you're like. dope i'm telling you i think there's a i'm telling you there's a theory and i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it on this podcast i'm gonna put it on air so years later we can go back to it bro you're gonna be selling at arenas okay with the same mustache no. I don't. I didn't mean to laugh at that. Yeah, like, no, I, didn't. I didn't mean to laugh. At it's that. It's fine. I'm I laughing want you at to it. Sell arenas. I won't. I will. Laugh. I will not. <laughs> I, won't. I will not. Bro, <laughs> this guy's, this bro, guy's killing, bro, Tony, that stash is gonna bring you to greatness, and you don't know it yet. I, I this no, bro. Is my pinnacle right here. That, this podcast, bro. <laughs> that uncalled for passion that you just delivered that with is what's gonna get you to greatness, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the, he's looking at you like because of my CJ, stash, bro. Like, I don't you like, will be the best mustache <laughs> opener I ever had. That's fine. I'll do that. No, I'm I, joking. I'll do that. that. But it's I, I do think, dude. I'm telling you, there's power in that stash, and I'll, I, I don't know if you know the full power of it. I yeah. feel like you want to touch it, bro. <laughs> May I? I feel like you, you can touch it. Honestly, I think you should kiss it, bro. Oh, yeah, ah, no it. more. I can't do any more of this. I can't do any more of this. Dude, it's thick. Bro, you it's come thick. while you shit, bro. I do. I <laughs> yeah, you can't no, talk shit. To be fair, you no can't talk shit unless you come. I, I, I would never subject anyone to seeing that. You could probably get money on OnlyFans for that. That's probably yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Know, you wrong, can't talk though. shit or else you'd come. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. All right, guys. Delta been dying. He talk shit Sunday. I like that. That's my kind of bad joke. I like that. It takes you three listens to get it. <laughs> Not me, just Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm in my own head, guys. Yeah, yeah. Millie. By the way, bro, you, the podcast we'll talk about that after, bro. The podcast listener just got the joke, by the way. So it's like, it's okay. It takes like four rotations. Word. Uh, I do want to... Kevin, have you been in your head recently? In, little, in your head, Kev? He looked at the camera and went... Nah, straight. That was the saddest big poppy face I ever saw, buddy. <sighs> Listen, bro. Now, Kevin's give Kevin... I Are you been... medium poppy shampoo right now? Medium. I may have seen Kev three times since he's been back from Vegas. And he's giving me vibes like he's like he's gonna disappear soon. Whoa. Back to Vegas? <laughs> like I don't mean die. I'd be like, you know, you ever get a like this guy is a vibe. Like like he just fell off the earth. Yeah, he's about to skip town or something. So, like yeah, I Kev, <laughs> let's let's go through let's um, go through the progression. You debating on Halloween costumes or something? What's your deal? <laughs> I don't know. I want to make more money. You uh-huh. know, I want to for Halloween. Sell I'm weed. Join the club, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Sell drugs. I, I'm about to. Okay. Um, uh, and I I don't know. I don't know. My back hurts. You know, that's a problem. <laughs> Use oh. your own supply, next. Yeah. Oh, by the way, bro. <laughs> speaking of getting... Look. You sound like Aaron Rodgers, bro. He's like, <laughs> he's like I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm old. I work with children. Hey, for, fuck, the, <laughs> fuck Aaron Rodgers right now, bro. Fuck the Why? Packers. They're oh, yeah, my team. Yeah. That's okay, that's all. Are you, are you a Bears fan? I'm a Packers fan. Oh, you're a Packers fan. I'm very angry with... He's a fan of Packers. I'm not mad at Aaron Rodgers. I shouldn't say I'm mad at Aaron Rodgers, but I'm definitely mad at our organization making no trades. That's you're not why you're saying that. And that you're an doesn't owner. help him. Huh? You're an owner, aren't you? I will be. Yeah. <laughs> I will isn't, be. isn't there the only team that's like owned by the fans? Yeah. 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 I'm going to buy. Yeah. You Dude, fucking better, bro. I'm sorry to keep going back to it. TJ, you could literally say anything with that fucking mustache, and I believe it. <laughs> what the fuck's you happening? Can say what are you guys doing to me? I feel you like you can say tr- any fact. Dude. I don't know if he took much. I don't know if he took anything before this. Say but koalas like grow on trees. Koalas grow on trees. Fact by TJ. Probably. Fact by TJ. That's probably true. Oh, fact. Fact by TJ. Everything. Well, te- technically they do because aren't they tree? They they live in the tree, right? And then they fuck a lot. 
Honestly, yeah, they do. Yo, seeing Team Death Mustache for, gives you power. Yeah, spreading they, chlamydia. They kind of around apparently, do grow on like, trees. I bet you, you get a lot of people coming up to you in New York City asking for information. That is funny. Uh, yeah, people are like all the time, right? Yeah, like, yo, always like, where's the New York preschool? And I'm like, oh, right down the street. I know exactly where it's at. You I know where all the child parks are. Mustache, dude. It's, it's, it's uh, really not. Yeah, it's, it's whatever. Yeah, I don't care about his mustache. Yeah, I know. He, <laughs> no, yeah. You, you gotta understand. You gotta understand the hype that goes in this group and the and the self lo- and, and all the the love and uh, and um, hype man because Kevin texts the group. I'm not gonna say what, but he texts the group something sad. He was like, "Yo, bro, I'm down. I don't know what's going on. I'm sad about this, this, this." And me and DC responded to our group chat. It turned into <laughs> a hype manning of like, by the time we were done, I it, was was full cap, talk. <laughs> it was full caps, uh, Michael Jordan gifts, yeah. and DC on voice notes going, hey, you we remember? got this. And then, oh, and then we started, what now, did you start saying? Now I'm going to say, I'm going to say what it is because what I don't like, I'm not going to put, put your news out yeah, there. I, don't, I put out everyone else's, but I don't like when like things are left unsaid. Um, nah, so the girl I'm talking to. She was like, yo, I think we're moving too fast. And it's like one of the only girls I'm like, I like, what do you mean? Yeah. I want this to move fast. Yeah. But only with you. Like, I hate everyone else. Everyone else stinks. And she was stinks. like, we should open it up a little bit. Like, you should go on dates and I should go on dates. Like, Damn. You should. So and, that's then, why and, then, and then me and DC respond and I go, bro. Fuck these bitches. You can do whatever you want. You're the cats, not her. Honestly, bro, I'm gonna break up with my girl over this. It's a boys weekend <laughs> yeah. all the time. Let's go, boys. Boys, 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 boys. Shout Started out. Started texting a bunch of um, Andrew Tate videos to each other. Oh, <laughs> nice. Regular. They always bring you up. No, but yeah. dude, I watched Steve will do Kevin. Six, nine, Andrew Steve Tate, will bro. Do it. Right yeah. I watched Kevin go from like. I'm not gonna lie, you remind me of those guys a little bit. Milk? <laughs> yeah, oh, a little oh. bit. A little bro, bit any dude. like white douchebag, that's what I get. Red barstool, yeah, barstool, like, all this yeah. shit. You should honestly apply to barstool and just say, look at my face. No, nah, see, say, here's the thing. I, I, barstool is whatever. They're kind of whatever, but there's so much now. Like, I'm pretty the, sure you have a podcast on barstool. Yeah, there's so many I do. Networks. Don't you? No. <laughs> What? You think I'd be here if I had a podcast <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. on Barstool? <laughs> that's, that's yes, crazy. yes, you would. <laughs> yes, you would. No, I would be. I would have a lot of money. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, I probably, would. probably not that way much more. Though. But <laughs> you have a lot of money. No IP, but yeah, a lot yeah. of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I get a lot of that. All the frat kids. The stuff. frat bro. Yeah. 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 So Kevo. Yeah. You going through the level? Well, know, you know, like you know, <laughs> we. It's Sorry. interesting because it keeps going back and forth. Like it's like she tells me that, and then and then, and then my we, dick, and, and then, then all we do is hang out, and then we. Fu- the, yeah, you know what's crazy? Fuck, she back up. I want to say this. I want to say this. Me and this girl. Fuck a lot. That's what's up. Like three nice. to four times a day. <laughs> When what? Together. Yeah, it's That's why crazy. your fucking back is hurting, bro. You talk yeah. earlier. You're talking about my back hurts. Yeah, no like, you make more you, money. Yeah. <laughs> you only... fuck a lot. Your lower back will hurt, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three you also have no free time. That's too much. Yeah, so three. I'm gonna say it, dude. No, no, wait, wait. It's during cool. the weekend when we see each other. Okay. When we get to Tell see me, each other. You, Even reason, then, though, bro. The only reason I don't fuck my girl is literally because of time. I'm like, baby. I, I, there's not enough hours in the day. Man. I need this time. Honestly, twice a week, I'm good. Same, yeah. dude. I, it's it's so week, lame good, to be dude. like, I don't. I'm. Fu- I favorite. like having sex, but after like two, after like three, four times a week, no. I'm, or not even that, like two times and a week, I'm like, I'm. I'm gonna I can, be I can, real. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, why I people. Like, like, I gotta fuck dude, every telling, day. I did the cum study, and she was like, "When's the last time you came? Like, we need to know that you have to have two days of absence." Last night, me and my girl almost started fucking, and then I was like, "I gotta do that study mm-hmm. tomorrow. We got it." But until that point. I don't think we even touched each other for two days. Yeah. So yeah. it was like, yeah, we touched, but like. But it's also a relationship, and you guys are looking at each other like, oh, we can fuck anytime. No, you know, Kevin, no I'm pressure. on her side. Like, you guys are going too fast. No. Uh, fuck slower. Can, can I be real? Ah! Can I be real? Ah! Can I be real? Ah! Can I, be real? Yeah, uh, I feel like you should really let her know that you don't want to do what she's asking. Yeah. Like the open relationship thing. You should let her know that that's not what you want from her, and if that's what she's going to do, then. Wait, wait, wait. No, never mind. I disagree. Fuck these bitches. No. I disagree with him. You big poppy shampoo. Not medium poppy shampoo. Wait, not how long? Shampoo. How long you guys been like seeing? Two Each, months. Two months. Yeah. That's he, not fast. He wants a relationship though. Does she just want to be open? Well, she just moved to New York. <laughs> Why you did this? Oh, I don't so know. She feels like you're <laughs> she want to be open? Does she want to be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, in her head, she was like, in my head. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, this is fucking Are you guys in an open pretty, relationship? Uh, she was like, in my head. That I didn't plan on just seeing one guy when I got here. I thought of I was going to be able to date around, see yeah. New York, and of now course. I'm seeing you, and it's awesome. But it feels like fuck. That's not what I like. I feel like I kind of. you sound like I get a fucking that, movie, bro. dude. And I get it, and I get it too, bro. But bro, if you got. And by the way, I want the original point was 
we fought like I'm three sad, or, bro. We fought, like, <laughs> we fought like three or four times. Every time we like hang out, it's crazy, bro. That's what happens I'm when like, you, you start guys, dating on. someone. No, but like, stop fucking talk. Have stop, a conversation. Stop, we have conversations, bro. Um, I just wanted to tell the other girls that I only had, I only like fucked once or twice a week. It was your fault. <laughs> You weren't. That's what you wanted to that's say. That's all I wanted to say. That, that's that was it. your that's grand all, point. That was my grand point. Uh, I'm back on her side. Y'all no. need to break up. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I feel like I didn't even understand that. I don't know if the Adderall's wearing off. I don't know what's going on, bro. Uh, all I was saying, I didn't like how you guys focus. all left me out on the island. I was but, there with you, buddy. But, but, I didn't leave you on the island. Like, we were, yeah, we were looking at the punches. Like, we don't get it, bro. But yeah. I. Realistically speaking, if you want a relationship and she doesn't want one, then I gotta dead this. Yeah, 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 yeah. honestly, okay. tell her that, and if she says yeah. nah, then back out. And Ooh. I, ironically, I think if you back out, she'll be like, uh oh, shit. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I told him, no, nah, let's actually, I was like, let's keep it open then because it's not hard for me to get girls, but it's not the difficult part. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> With the dip cut the two months. <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> But uh, yet, are you guys in an open relationship? Yes or no? I don't know. If, I don't know because we're only seeing each other. That's the problem. That's the crazy thing. So, but I'm saying, like, was it ever was it ever discussed? Hey, I want an open relationship. The funny thing about that is just like it's, she asked for it. She said that she should keep it more open. But what do you know more? Stop answering for he my told dude. Me, no, I see him a lot. That's Why you tell funny. him all these? He things. just said it on air. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. But what I was saying, what I'm saying <laughs> is, all right, two against one, TJ. I'm losing. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I feel like. You guys, I feel like you have to tell her that because the weird thing is, though, it's like she could just date you and then break up with you if she wants to move on. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know why it's so like keep it open. So should we well, do like? It's I, not. I think that's the problem with this uh, dating culture and generation is that you like when you find something cool, but you also want to explore outside. You want to you want to have if? everything. It's only you because wanna... of the apps. It's only because the you, way, your mind thinks in endless possibilities. Way, it, that is, it's one hundred percent what it is, and that's the number the one apps, death of relationships in New York is meeting someone dope and going, yeah, but I only lived here for a year, yeah. so I want to have like my slutty phase, my my yeah, at banking 35. phase. Yeah, yeah for real, thirty five. I, I want to be a slut. You know, my home, <laughs> my home girl, <laughs> my home girl told me she was like, I was talking to her about this. She goes, Kevin. Let her go out there and see what's up, buddy. No, for sure. She it's horrible. Yeah, it's I agree. <laughs> no, but that's what we. But that's it's what also, horrendous. Go ahead, let her. I agree. That's also what we said in um the oh, yeah. group chat. I was like, yeah. bro, let her. Yeah. Everything yeah. she's saying to you, uh-huh. let her do it. Yeah, I think you kind of let it happen, and then I think, yeah. in my opinion, she'll be like, ah, oh, shit, that's probably a bad idea. And then I remind my girlfriend every week I don't want a relationship. You remind her. That. Okay. <laughs> Babe, love you. Don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be real with you. I can call her right now. She'd probably go, yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah. No, it, it's it's not. No, when we first started dating, we always had a joke where I go, I didn't want to have, I didn't want to start dating. I didn't want a relationship. Mm-hmm. I was ha- back in my whole phase. I was supposed to be out there ah, having fun. But there's also, we're really honest with each other. So there's a mutual understanding of, she's like, oh, I know you didn't want a relationship, but also I'm still here. Like I'm, like, I'm still there. So it's like, she got me to the point where I'm like, all right, you know, I'll f- let's figure it out. I, I, I love you enough to where I knew the dating culture. I was like, yo, I'm done doing the, but what if someone's better? It's like, that's the where New York, you're like, dude, I'm like, I'm not, I'm 25, but I'm like, you know, it's crazy. I've gotten like tired of just like, I'm like, you see trends and you're like, bro, I'm just doing the same shit everyone else is doing. Fuck that. Yeah. Anti culture. I'm getting, I'm marrying this I don't bitch. I'm thinking there's someone better. I'm just like, I was like, but what if I can fuck this person too? <laughs> like, I don't know. That's mostly what it is, man. Right? Yeah. I don't even think just because you gotta get something and decide that this is what you want to deal with. Because uh, people are just hard to deal with in general. You know what I mean? Mm. That's how I feel. But like, All it's right. not always. Is there gonna be? Let's transition. Let's transition. I want. I want to. I want to apologize and thank some people. I have an apology and a thank you. I want to apologize to the fans. We have a shitty oh. intro. Sorry. We're gonna re uh, redo the intro. Your boy got a new energy coming out of Skank Fest. I got more free time. Shut right the fuck now. up, everyone. Shit, and I'm. <laughs> we're, we're ramping it. What'd you say? Shut up. He said, he goes, I got you energy right now. That shit's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I had energy. I'm like, God damn, bro. Bro, and we're like ramp DC, uh-huh. Kevin, mm-hmm. TJ, mm-hmm. Natalie, uh-huh. we're ramping it up. Yeah. Woo! And also, I want to thank some people. Yeah. 
I want to thank our sponsor, Zia Farms. Uh, go to uh, zephef.com and use code DOPE hyphen up for 50% off Delta 8 pre rolls and TACO cards. So, guys, again, that's Z E F H E M P.com and go to go support Zia Farms yeah, for supporting Go support Zia Farms. Listen, really when you smoke weed, amazing right? people. When you smoke, amazing people. And, and you see all your friends smoking and they pass you a joint like, and you smoke it and then you feel crazy afterwards. You're like, oh my God, I need to go home. With Delta 8, you won't feel that. Right, you get just high enough. It's chill, bro. It's chill it's, as it, fuck. It, it, it's it's Kevin's preferred movie weed. That's how you, that's how you like to watch the movies, that's how right? I like to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Delta I, A joints. But Delta again, A. thank you, uh, Zia Farm, so, for supporting Delta Been Dying and Dylan Egger, Kevin Sanchez, DC Williams during the Skank Fest weekend and going forward. So I guys, mean, this motherfucker was coming up to us with bro, the, it's the biggest, best sponsor. with the biggest it, joints, bro. bro. It was crazy. we are in a. By the way, I'm talking to him about doing a a venue, an outside venue, an all day event. Mm -hmm. Out on the West Coast, bro, we're getting bigger. TJ, Damn. you will the be West. there on your own well, dollar. You paying for me? Because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, not paying, paying you to go. I'll pay you when you get there <laughs> for the show. All right. As long as it covers air tra travel. It, <laughs> it won't. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, seriously, uh, go support Zia Farms. Uh, Z-E-F-H-E-M-P.com. 50% uh, off. D-O-P-E-D hyphen up. And, uh, no, nah, seriously, uh, dude. Finding sponsors uh, that fuck with our vibe and um, fuck with us going forward, it is so cool. This guy during Skank Fest was he rolled joints of like the Cheech and Con, like Chon, like foot, like raw pre rolls, and then rolled them in Keith, like yeah. already o OD. They're in these big raw packages, and I he gave me like six or eight of them, bro. Yeah. Like way too many to like smoke in like one sitting, and it's a three day event, so you're like, you want to save it for like when you're outside with everyone. So you like I can smoke this, pass it around this giant circle, and it's gonna make Dude, like, a bunch of rotation. Fest was interesting, bro. I started passing them to fans. I passed like four or five fans this giant pre roll. Dude, people's faces when they're like, "Oh, dude, you're the best." Thanks yeah. for the free joint. Yeah. What? And it's just this baseball bat of like yeah. smoke ability. And I, I, I smoke them. Do you find sponsors for this pie? Yeah. You do yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to know what's really funny? This is a funny story real quick. I So, like, about two, three months ago, I needed a job. So, I applied to gas to fucking sell ads. And I sat in this room and, like, had a whole fucking interview and shit. That's hilarious. And uh, I did two weeks of it, did nothing, and then I quit. Because <laughs> it's all like on your own. Because I got I got a new job. Like offer. Gas, a former gas that digital employee. Funny, That's all. When I asked, I was like, "Yo, you've ever been here before?" He's like, "I've been here once." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I did. I tried to do shit. I just was so bad, and and then I got hit up for another job. I was like, "I'm gonna do that." <laughs> just no, quit. So. And they were like, "You guys, this ain't for me." They also, got it. Also, I suck yeah. at sales, bro. Um. It's a it, it's multiple things. If I had any recommendation to anyone doing sales, is um kill yourself. <laughs> No, I need them. Yeah, Sales oh, people yesterday. are useful. You understand? It's, no, it's, it's about... Salesmen It's about being conveying style. value over so email. Hard, bro. Yeah. Conveying value over email. So Especially if you're sending cold emails. But that's not something I read out of a do. book. You gotta talk that's to my fucking brain. Yeah. Conveying value over email. That's one of Dylan's 31 ways of success. Communicating value is Why just is literally the hardest sales. You have to communicate the value of the thing that you're selling or the value that the podcast... Brings is why they should advertise. But this is the not an investment podcast. It's dope have been dying. Back to why you come when you shit. <laughs> it got like really smart yeah, for a yeah. second. I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, we gotta stop. I know, right? All right just, um, I have a really funny thing to tell hey, you. Hey, why did you bring the hot sauce here, dude? Yeah, that was a bit that you never that, even bro? finished. Are we, who's supposed Chug to it. I'll finish the car? That, 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 that was some Rick and Morty shit. Finish it? So, I'll fucking finish. Yeah, I don't want. Oh, you're not gonna do it, pussy? But you don't even. I had like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with like mayo here one time for you to take a bite. What? Do it. What? Exactly. That's just disgusting. Exactly. What? Bro. You, I didn't want to eat peanut butter, cream, jelly, and mayo. He puts whipped cream bro, on bro, pizza. Bro, that is you good. feel cream like disgusting. a guy that has weird food yes, things. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, no, he I does. Don't. Yeah, it's absolutely bizarre. Spaghetti, whipped cream on pizza? Whipped cream on pizza. Wait, wait, wait. I watched him eat that. That's not what Whipped cream on cheese pizza. I never did that. What are you talking? I never did You know what? I can't do Spanish. I got a Spanish homie. He puts whipped cream on on ham, so I can't even like. Hey, Wait, can I tell you something really funny? Yeah. I found, uh, me and my girlfriend found this really funny divide with, uh, he's, it's not whipped cream with pizza, he's wrong. Jamaican patties. That That's you doing whipped cream with pizza. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've never done that. <laughs> this guy, uh, bro. <laughs> my girlfriend does uh, Jamaican patties with Cool Whip. and not, uh, not Cool Whip, sorry, sour cream. I'm an idiot. No, no, <laughs> that makes sense to me. So sorry. Wait, wait. Jamaican patties with sour cream. I looked at her, I saw the plate, I go, 
you if my friend saw this you understand like i'm done like i'm done yeah. i'm canceled for this yeah she goes what do you mean it's delicious it makes sense and this is when i started thinking this is why it's really funny jamaica queens black african-american harlem <laughs> dominican american, american. Mm-hmm. thank you for getting two, that right by the way two different polar opposite when i told him flip the tape while he was in the what that is sacrilegious and bro, it's so funny. The, the Spanish culture, bro, the Dominican in him makes went, sense. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense, though. But think about the flavor because, palettes. Bro, it's also because, like, when you order a beef patty, they ask you, "Do you want it with cheese?" Cream cheese is similar, bro. Right, but none of that justifies putting whipped cream on pizza. Sour cream. Uh, He's never nice. put. <laughs> yes, he did. I was there at his house. Can you fight the right like, argument? Cool whip, like tsh- cool. Yes, um, I can call call Carolyn right now and ask her if Dylan puts fucking whipped cream on pizza. That's not true. <laughs> and you were trying to get her to do it, and I was like, "You're gonna have the runs, lady. You're gonna be taking some whipped cream farts. on pizza. Is wild. It's the sour wild, cream dude. with that is. Fu- I feel like that makes fine. sense. That's it was fun. Something else. It wasn't whipped cream, but it was something else. I did do something that day that made everyone laugh. So it wasn't sour cream on pizza. By the way, though. I do love doing weird things for the sake of it. I'm like, let's try it. Yeah. No, 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 no. You, you, that's what you do, though. You, weird things? You, you yeah, it is my shtick. Okay. <laughs> it is my shtick. like, this wasn't a bit. You were eating food, bro. Yo, remember when McDonald's? I, McDonald's was trying to do this thing where they're like, you could fucking. Oh, bro, I had a McRib today. Uh, dude, this guy's gonna die, bro. <laughs> he this dude bro, eats he's McDonald's crazy, every day. Yeah. He's gonna die. The, the McDonald's people know him as well as they know the crackheads. Bro, I have. <laughs> I have as well as I know what oh, they, they know him as well yeah. as they know the crackheads. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's fucking no, actually insane. better. They know my name, dude. The crackheads started to know. Him. Yeah, the crackheads are like, yeah, Yo, you want to hang? Like, but by the way, one day I was uh the dude. It was like lightly raining, and there was a dude standing underneath the little thing at uh, McDonald's. But it was a big dude, the big uh a big jacket on, black jacket, puffy, and I just walk up and just to make myself laugh, I looked at him. I go, like, at McDonald's, like, what are you checking IDs? He goes, Yeah, let me see your ID. And just for the fun of it, I went, pulled out my ID, gave it to him. He looked at it and went, all right, yeah, you're good. Just to check my ID What's going into, like, McDonald's. And, bro, now every time I see that dude, we give a little, like, What's up? What's up? So I do know, I kind of do know the, the community. Have him a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking comes in there. What's up, my guy? My guy, yo, 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 you, look, you look hungry today, man. Yo, you look mad hungry, dog. Oh, uh, yo, I, I got... gave him laughter. Hey, let me, let me that tell you is something. priceless. Tell you something. No, you did it, bro. <laughs> that that story bombed here. I know we bombed there. <laughs> All right, you let me tell you that right. Big rib was, hey, yo, big rib was great, that dog. Was good, when's, bro. when's the last time you had a big rib, dog? Probably never. Probably never. Probably never. <laughs> I was at trash can PB and J. Hey, let me tell you something about Dylan. This dude will order ninety five things from McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. Two, no, no. I'm not exaggerating. How many nuggets he ordered that one bro, day? Sixty nuggets, dog. Shit like that, you need to film. Sixty that was nuggets. So many, bro, 60 he ordered McDonald's sixty, nuggets, but he did. Yeah, you got. Wendy's. I feel no, like you no, got no, weird food. They're stuff. not understanding. <laughs> It was for this guy's crazy, for, yeah. for fifteen nuggets from Wendy's was six eighty nine. For fifty nuggets was eight ninety nine. That is a crazy just that's a crazy. Yeah, but model. that's why they fifty. That's why they that's why they got you. They're gonna got me. I like stole that. from them. Nah, I nah, was, nah, nah. They're making nah, money. Nah, nah, if nah, you dude, think you're nah, stealing, one time you're crazy. there was an Arnie Ann's pretzel bucket on the website. When me and my girlfriend got the pretzel bucket for like twenty two dollars. <laughs> the next day it was taken off the online menu because they realized why the fuck are we doing this in two? Wait, what's it again? You know, on, you know, like on, 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 know, ends, on a little like cinnamon bites. Yeah, it was like a bucket this big mm-hmm. for like twenty two dollars. How like, many? How many? Oh, bro, hundreds. Hunt? That's crazy. And then we would just reheat them for like a week. Yeah, of course. If I get high enough, bro, that's yeah. With that. The cinnamon sugar. Talk in the mic. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. If I get high enough, I'm with you. Get that. high I'm enough, sorry. you don't speak in the mic either. I'm a, I, I need way, to smoke. That's why. I need to say this. Uh, we've been out of the studio for a little bit. It feels so fucking good to be back in the studio. It, it does. Be back in studio. It feels good to see. But Natalie. it feels like Natalie we've been missing practice. Um, <laughs> Not gonna hold you. I mean, you, every time you miss the mic, it is Jeez, missing, a, a missing a mark. But I, I want to tell you guys a story. Uh, <laughs> okay, so my last. <laughs> my last name I hate this guy has bro. always <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate when people do that Yo, I'll tell you a story <laughs> Boy, <gonna> <laughs> no, Kevin Hart's whole ass I'm trying <laughs> <laughs> Wow bro okay. I like Kevin Hart He's actually very good I, do, I also <laughs> love Mark Norman singers. I do love Kevin Hart I love Mark yeah. Norman <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I I've never 
I've never had this. This is why. I'm 25 years old, and a lot of people fuck up my last name. Negri. N-E-G-R-I. It, it's spelt a little scary. I get it. The joke I'll have is, like, I've had a couple hosts of comedy shows be like, what's the name? I'm going to go, I go, Neg. it's just Negri. Don't overthink it. And that's, like, the little joke I'll say. Like, just don't overthink it. And I have had one dude be like, oh, but I'm not saying that. And if they're a dick about it, if they make a joke about it. Somebody I'll be- really said that? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, in in, uh, in uh, Chicago, and then I went on stage and went. The host didn't want to say my last <laughs> you name. Know why, we though? clearly know what he says in his uh, alone time, yeah. and that, Dylan, Dylan, you know, okay, because he definitely does. He he's like, don't say nigga, don't no. say nigga. So don't no, no, say so that's exactly. What so so Kevin, with. that's what I'm trying to stick with that thought, please. Stay with that. I've had a lot. I've even had a Chinese, um, uh, a Chinese, um. I thought that was a drop. I thought that was a drop. I thought that was a drop. I was like, "What the fuck was that?" I was like, "Natalie got drops <laughs> now." Uh, no, I had a, a laundry like a mat lady <laughs> literally say the n word to me. And my mom one time when like, she what? said our last name, like just said straight up the n word. Yeah. Oh, but right. I have never gotten this where I was on the phone with a uh, a publication talking about some things. I'm not gonna say who. I'm not gonna say what. But I was on, a, on the publication and. I'm talking about no. what we're doing, and I and I start to mention you know the comedy club and Black Ass Comedy Show, mm. and all the amazing things that Black Ass Comedy Show is doing. And she goes, "Okay, Dylan, I'm gonna send you this email. Let me just make sure I have the email correct." And I go, she goes, "I spelled the email. I go, it's D Y L A N da 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 N E G R I." All right, awesome. Sends me the email. I go, I didn't get the email. Oh, that she- sounded crazy. I- G-R-I. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about that. that sounded like he spelling spelled sounds worse. Yeah. <laughs> and after a while, I go, I didn't receive the email. She goes, well, let me read it back to you. It's uh, it was it's D Y L E N, you know, N E G G R I, right? Oh, damn. Oh. And bro, what? What? bro, N E G G R I, and I go, oh. no, it's just N E G R I. Ned Green. She goes, and bro, you can hear this like. Person, I'm not gonna even say the, the gender. You hear this person go, It's a girl, it was a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a boy. I don't know why, why? Know that? I don't know why, I don't know why but we all knew. Yeah. Yeah. But bro, no, you said she, yeah, you oh, did. Thank right, you, too. Yeah, right, there you go. Subconsciously, you picked it up, yeah, yeah. so she <laughs> goes, right, just Oh my god, name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> da, da, da. And there's just this like t- 15 second silence of like, No, it's okay. And we just sat in this 15 seconds of silence of like, I could just feel her being like, he know, you know what she was saying? She was, she was like, know because she was like, that's, say, what like, say what you're saying. Say what you're saying. She was like, he knows I wanted to say the N word. <laughs> he knows I wanted to say the N word now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about black ass comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> she put that extra G in there. She was just thinking too much. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, right now, she was like, she's singing songs. She's saying Negri now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's up, Dude, my Negris? It was so funny to be like, bitch, you got caught. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Do you understand? That's what my last name, like, it catches people. People where I'm like, so you just thought it? They'll be like, oh, wait, what? Say your last name again? I go, Negri, though. Does anyone? I can't say that. I go, so you just thought it? Yeah, you just thought it. You just thought it? He's like, that's going to make me say the N word. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't want to do you're that. But you're not saying the N word in your head. Bro, you're saying... I had a. Neg- I, I didn't tell you this. Neg- I had a, I Neg- 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 Negri. Negri. <laughs> I, I, I didn't tell you this. <laughs> when I was in um, Albany opening, oh, the first need- show, the, uh, the announcer goes, but beforehand, he goes, Hey man, I'm gonna have a little fun with your name. Don't. Interesting. <laughs> uh, and I just I'm, want, I'm, I'm like, bro. You. Was he white or black? How do you not? I'm mean, like, bro. It's, Puerto it's, Rican. I've <laughs> 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 been doing shows, bro. <laughs> this guy is rude. Um, I don't remember. Uh, I think it was white. Um, <laughs> he said the N word. He's like, oh yeah, he's a white guy. <laughs> so, bro. In Albany. He goes, I- I'm gonna have a little fun with your name. And I just like, you're right. I should just been like, don't. But I, I wasn't that confident enough to be like, yeah, no. So I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, say the N word. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, bro, he, bro, I think he did that. And he goes, we've been to the stage, Dylan. Ne- Whoa, Negri. Like, what a horrible That's what he meant job. by have fun with it. It was just, uh, Guys, dude. And then I went on stage. You no, know it's so funny. Never was talked about. Never said again. I just went on stage and go, Clearly, know the announcer says in his off time. Yeah. Got a little laugh and, yeah. I, and then just moved on. And, bro, never heard it again from the announcer. I was like, bro, like, 
You're what a just, horrible you're just yeah, like you, guy he is at his job. Like, imagine being at any comedy <laughs> club. Like, TJ Frank, just kidding. It's Francis. Yeah. Like, people are going to be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. When you said have fun with your name, fuck? I thought he was going to say, like, something. Yeah. Like, about also, it, bro, like, comedy clubs do this thing where um, they play on the projector, like, old comics and comics yeah. coming up. And it's yeah. just, like, blaring bad. Yeah. Like, ha, ha, so then I lost in the yeah. store. Blah, 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 blah. And it's, like, their late night set. Yeah. And, dude. I, I had a whole uh, an, uh, when we were talking with Green Pointer. Shout out to the um, go look about article in the Green Pointers. Uh, I talked about how like I want to do things differently in comedy because there's been this weird thing of like going into America and seeing their comedy clubs and going, "This is not comedy. This is like a, this is like a." Uh, uh, I well, wanna, it's comedy. Oh, no, it's comedy. comedy. What do you mean? You okay, there's people that do it right, and there's people that are there to make like again. Okay. There's Broadway comedy clubs all over the nation, and that needs to stop. What does that mean? They're there for the pay. They're there for the money. It's oh, it's, yeah. it's it's an operation. I get it. Everyone, it's, it's, it's business. I get it. It's business, guys. But there's places that you go, like uh, West Palm Improv. They are there for comics, bro. Like the the way the camera's set up, the audio's plugged in. They the dude gives you gives you your set that you night. There's people on. They care. There's they care. care. There's care. It yeah, sounds yeah. so lame no, to say, bro. A lot of people don't care about it. It sounds so comedy, lame. Bro. Yeah. It's clearly like they care, and someone yeah. even asked, um, oh, even at Skankfest, like Lewis, like when it comes to, like the green rooms, they'll go around being, what could be better, what could be better for tomorrow or even next year. And bless you. I think that's just one thing no that uh, I think that's just I um yeah. I, I think that's just one thing. Is no, there's a lot of places where you do comedy and it feels like no one like even cares. Like it's just like I remember that time I was I was just doing that mic at fucking producers and I just started saying like you don't care about shit in comedy. Like yeah, you but go, when you said it, that shit was mad depressing. Yeah, but I, <laughs> you I was said it, that I was shit depressed was... when I said it, but it was true because as soon as I sat on something, it broke, and I was like, you oh, see what the fuck I'm talking it. about? Oh, producers club. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just said I'm just this like dude's... that place is wild. People though. just run shit like a, a comedy. It's like comedy and like dollar pizza shops are like. Just to to, to, <laughs> to launder money or something like really just no one is taking care of anything. Yeah, but some dollar pizza shops, shops are fire. Need to some are fire, but it's like, bro, like, yeah, is this, do people care? Then you go to so. places like, oh, the stand. You're like, oh, these motherfuckers care about curating a vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're yeah. like, yo, they care about like, curating a vibe. Don't the comedy club. Yeah. They We're care about curating a vibe or something, bro. Um, and speaking of Double Comedy Club, you know, let's just run right into plug so we can get right back into this fucking tasty ass episode with TJ Frank. Oh, hey, wait, Francis. Francis. Yeah. That That's awesome. how I want to be brought up from now TJ on. Frank Francis. Well, Anything sw- you want me to say? Yeah, keep bringing me up as Frank. Just kidding. It's Francis. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I would say if anyone that has like uh, uh, t- Intro me like this. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's I hilarious. hate even when people. I mean, ah, whatever. I don't want because in case guys, we'll get ready to plugs oh, yeah. and we'll get right back in the show. We <laughs> really want to talk. It's a great episode. So TJ far. had a hot take. Though, Thank you, TJ, for a little bit. So TJ, tell the people where to find you uh, and where they can find Love Caddy's podcast. Uh, well, follow me on Instagram at T E E J Francis, and then Love Caddy's isn't really a podcast. We just do clips, but listen to the TJ Francis Program podcast. That's what I call it on like Apple and Spotify. Mm-hmm. So your your podcast is just for the clips. You just the Love Caddy's. Yeah, we just do clips. That's and dope. we're eventually we're trying to build like some fan base Plus. on Instagram and then we're gonna go to Patreon. Nice. That's like That's our awesome. plan. Nice. And then I have my own solo pod that I kinda don't really promote or anything, but I just do it for fun and try to get good at it. Nice. TJ Friends Program Podcast. Just work, working behind the scenes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, DC Williams. Um the false you follow prophet me on, himself. Online. Uh, follow me on Instagram at DC Williams Comedy. And um yeah, man. Follow Doped Up and Dying. Follow this page, this podcast. The only thing that matters really is this page and this podcast okay i need you guys to like and subscribe i need you guys to um show up thursdays and and saturdays and sundays and uh, thursdays and keep sundays. supporting because we cannot do this shit without you guys and yeah. i literally mean that i'm not even trying to be funny big poppy shampoo the dos dos Yo, don Bano, first of all, i want to thank kevin sanchez i want to thank the people that showed up Mm-hmm. Yesterday to my show just for the love of the game. Yeah, which is crazy because when I did that show, there was so many more people there. <laughs> what show did you do? What show did you do yesterday? <laughs> You're an asshole. Son. What show did you do yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Bad behavior. Bad behavior. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta tell a story. Uh, that's what he told me too. He goes, "Yo, bro, I don't know. It was a light turnout." <laughs> <laughs> bro, I came, bro. I came, bro. I bro, I, 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 I always love and hate that when you walk in, you do that look around and you see the owner and it's just him. There was still like room. thirty people. No, there was a good amount of people. There was a good amount of people. And and by the way, bro, you killed. By the go ahead. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Where was this? I want to find you, huh? Where was it at? Fiction Bar yeah. in Brooklyn. Uh, uh, Fiction Bar. We'll get into uh, it. Uh, find me on Instagram at Wild Kevin Sanchez. Twitter Wild Kev Sanchez. YouTube Wild Kevin Sanchez. 
just a Not wild that. ass guy. I'm just bro. a wild boy. You know what time it is. <laughs> guys, you know what it is. Go follow me, Dylan J. Negri, on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Guys, go Two follow G's. the podcast. Dope Dub Comedy on Instagram. We just hit like 1,200. Guys, we are growing at an exponential rate. Was that a word? I don't know. But it's okay because Dope Dub Comedy is here and it's here to stay. Dope Dope Comedy on Instagram, Dope Dope Comedy on uh, on uh, YouTube, Dope 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 and Dying on all audio platforms. Guys, uh, this is this is some real talk. If you're listening, you're listening at this point. That means you're a fan. That means you fuck with us. So five stars on all on all audio platforms. Make sure to rate, review. That shit really helps us out, helps us in the algorithm, helps us in the rating. So if you guys fuck with us, you love us, guys, you want us to keep supporting us, go do that shit. Leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe, yeah, share man. this podcast. If you guys see a boss. clip, share that shit. If you see a clip, like that and shit. Comment. Don't be scared to roast us, man. Because yeah. now. Natalie is working her dick off. These clips Facts. are only getting better. I just saw the last, the, the two clips we have in the chamber. Insane. Fuego. They're good. They're fire. So, guys, thank you so much for listening. Po- <laughs> muy fuego, muy fuego, muy fuego. <laughs> yeah, bro. I just want to, like, <laughs> they're insane. They're good. <laughs> it's just crazy, bro. Like, when people come out to, like, like people are coming see, out This is why you're us. unsellable. It's- <laughs> Excuse me. That's the first time a Jewish person has ever said that to me. <laughs> in this yeah. business. <laughs> By the way, DC is old so for himself. He still thinks I said sellable. <laughs> What'd, you, What'd say? you say? Unsellable. Unsellable. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's the, that's the first time a Jewish person in his business ever said that to me. Yeah. He's saying. A wild thing to say to a Jewish person in his business. I get what they mean, but it is a wild thing. to say. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? He said that's a he wild, wild thing to say to a black person. You're unsellable. Back in the day, bro, that was a compliment. Back in the day, you know what no, I'm it wasn't. You don't think so? Not really. Yeah, you're strong too, brother. <laughs> <laughs> strong opinion. No one wants to hear they're unsellable <laughs> in this business, though. That's not what you want to hear. Being unsellable back in the day was a privilege. Yeah. Right. right? Fair. Not really. I mean, know? yeah, not at all. But not, yeah. Not at all. <laughs> Let's move on. I don't like this. You said you're unsellable. <laughs> that was I didn't say different. shit. Hey, Gilly, it's, only, hey, it's only the mustache, though. Hey, yeah. Gillian Keeves, brand new sketch. Yeah. <laughs> the unsellable. The unsellable. The unsellable. Oh, my God. How about doped up and dying, fire. sketch? Yep. I know what I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> Musta- mustache guy number yeah. one. Hey, hey, you got to have to do the tweets. All right, that's fine. That's I fine. will say this. It's funny you say that. Um, I've had a couple ideas this past, like, I've had a couple ideas, guys, mm-hmm. of like sketch ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Dope Dope been dying. Had to, oh, have to no. branch back. This, to, this guy. I have to branch back. Six sketches. months ago. I'm done with sketches, DC. I don't want to talk about sketches, bro. I, just, <laughs> I keep thinking like, of right, heaters. <laughs> I keep thinking of heaters, though. I got some slappers in the chamber. I know will work, bro. Yeah. Go I, one right now. Absolute no will work. Go bro. one right now. You know what I mean? Oh, pitch it right now. Pitch, pitch it right now. Pitch it. Uh, oh, hold on. Pitch I forgot one. it. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just know. Unsellable. I, 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 Unsellable. I do, though. But they're okay. So, so there's some wild ones, though. There's some wild ones. I can't really remember them, but there's some, I got some I wild ones. There's not enough. You know what there's not enough of? <laughs> what? I want to see some Kanye sketches. Nah, nah, there's, nah. There's, I got see, a few of those. He, I got one. Well, so here's a sketch for that. I've been thinking about this for years, bro. For years. <laughs> years. I used to do this on stage, but I might start doing it on stage again. So, all right. You know how so Kanye doesn't Kanye. like to lose, right? He doesn't like to lose, right? Every yeah. Everything is... His failures are bigger than most people's accomplishments, right? Yeah. Like, ever. You're just epic. Everything is epic. He's the best. No matter what, he thinks he's the best. So, a sketch where... Right. Is that, I thought about this after he How about had, this? A sketch? Wait, wait. wait no, no, hold a, on. You're taking too long. He had a right? decent... No, no. You, you take way longer to talk. He had a long... He had a mental breakdown. You remember that when that happened? And that shit was insane on stage and all that shit. So... He's having a mental Kanye breakdown. This is the sketch, breakdown. right? The sketch opens, right? And this is an award show for the greatest celebrity meltdowns, right? Okay. Of all time, right? Okay. And um, so nominated is Kanye West. Yeah. Britney Spears okay. and um, Katy Perry because they've had some really public insane meltdown uh-huh, intense meltdowns, sure. right? Shaving the head, the, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, right? So the award um, for the best, the award for the best greatest celebrity meltdown goes to Britney Spears balding her head, shaving her, uh-huh. um, showing her pussy outside, and being in a conservatory and losing yeah. her mind, right? Everyone's celebrating. Oh my God, Britney is so strong. Kanye comes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to let you finish, Britney. But I had one of the greatest celebrity meltdowns of all time. 
So I just want to announce right here. My shit had a floating stage in it. We are canceling <laughs> the sketch department. <laughs> was, I just want to announce right here. I, I like that. I, I like that. Yeah, I liked it. We're Yo, you know canceling the sketch department. Who's department. playing you know Kanye? Him? Uh, Obviously I don't, him. I don't, I don't, I'd, I'd play Kanye. He could play Kanye. I can play Kanye. All right, I'll play, I'll play <laughs> Katie. That's not a comic and she liked it, so that makes me like it. Yo, um, you could I don't know if he's trying to not be racist. Like, what was that? Obviously, it's you. No, 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 no. The reason why I say it's funny is because you could do the voice. Remember Loiter Squad? And he'd be like, yo, I'm great. And it'll be just Earl I do like that. You know what I mean? How about I? Kanye. Kanye has been a Jewish man playing Kanye. Yo, you know what's hilarious, bro? Kanye fucking walking to Skechers. Yeah. yeah. And they got escorted out of Skechers. That has to be by the way, top five most you think when they embarrassing escorted? things that happened to him. Do you no, think when, oh, that's the thing. Though. Do you think when he was escorted oh, out of not, Skechers man. HQ, yeah. the execs were wearing like light up sneakers and they're like, team, team. Yeah. Like, yeah. Execs, they were like, wearing heelys. Two police bro. officers walked them out. <laughs> Yo, I would love if they walked them out heelys. in heelys. Yeah. Just, <laughs> come on, Kanye. Hey, come on, Kanye. That's a funny thing to add to this. Kanye skating off in heelys and the fucking... Heelys were fucking I like that. I saw a girl I rocking Paley's the other day with some big ass titties, yeah. and I was like, "That's cool." But then dope. you realize titties don't bounce in Heelys, and that's why they failed. No, they bounced. <laughs> that's how big these titties were. Yeah. Oh yeah, every, every time you have, every time you have to stop well, for a new is, one, a new <laughs> speed boost. Yeah, so. he should have walked into Feli's. Uh, I would like to see. Kanye. That's how you say that. Fila. Fila. Yeah, it's Fila. 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 It was bad from Yo, what? Out, yeah, bro. By the way, by the way no. almost no one was going to you know I mean? Fila. <laughs> Fila sweats like Wait, an how Italian. You, how did Fila. 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 Is it Fila? Yeah, Fila. I call yeah. it Fila. <laughs> by the way, there's an A at the end, bro. <laughs> Kevin, Honestly, I I... you've been sold some jank gear. <laughs> no, no, Fila. I think that's just the way we said it, bro. No. He's like, nah, nah, my grandma's bad, bro. Yeah, man, so I'm <laughs> saying Fila and some Fila and yeah. all that shit. <laughs> that I will up. say, why didn't he? Why didn't Kanye go to Puma? Because Puma. Puma he hasn't Rihanna. gotten there yet. He's got a list of sneakers. Oh, yeah, that's Wait, true. First, Puma got Rihanna. They got uh, a couple of other people. Also, Puma's the same as Adidas. Kanye's going to go to like Asics, bro. He's mm. going to start fucking Yo, wearing Asics. Like, but he'll make them cool. Yeah, they'll, anybody what? will take him up, bro. He'll go to fucking... No, 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 no. They're not taking him up. Somebody in Japan will pick get him, him on this up, podcast. bro. I mean, in a few months. Yeah. It won't be that hard. Yeah. Yo, I saw a, a podcaster on Twitter, like uh, a tweet of uh, Riley Reed, the porn star, was like, Never heard I want to. I want to do more podcasts. Like, let me know who I should do. And Don't now oh, I follow Riley Reed, and there's too much porn on my Twitter, and that had to stop. Bro, yeah, I. Yeah. That shit's wild when you Al- like, follow Twitter algorithm. Actually, might be my most hated. I don't really? like Twitter. Dude. You want to hear? It? So I don't, like That's not on I don't, bro. It is Twitter's so like wild. Twitter one one. It, it is expose you. 24 7 hey, Twitter? because I love Twitter will just be like here's Riley Reed getting her asshole blown out and then you'll just look up and be like followed by wild Kevin Sanchez and three other people so pornography is like 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 Tumblr. Why do you say is, it like that? Is, <laughs> like my father. <laughs> pornography. Why do you I, say it like his mustache? I, I like the talk. word pornography. pornography. Actually, yeah, yeah. You actually you look like a pornographer. <laughs> the director. Pornogra- pornographer. Yeah. <laughs> That's pornographer. What they said back to the director. Uh, you know, it's funny a story about Twitter. This is so sometime one time a long time ago. I heard that, that somebody tweeted out like, "Holy shit, something crazy just happened on the A train." Blah blah blah. And I, I I I don't know what happened. So I wanted to look it up. A train. So I just typed in A train in the search bar. Everything is just like sex. It's all like gay yeah. sex. I just ran a train on this dude. It's all, oh, it's wild. Shit. <laughs> Twitter is, you could type in most things Yo, and you're going to get bo- sex. You even search like a train and bomb. Like, and it was like this bomb ass pussy was yeah. bussing. Hard, like hardcore porn images are on Twitter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Videos. That That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's on Twitter, but. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. DC just said, he goes, he goes, wait, wait, wait. porn's on the Twitters? Por- and the porn is. <laughs> that's. I that didn't know crazy. like gra- <laughs> that graphic though was on there, that is gr- it's crazy. which is crazy. It's crazy that they can do that, but Kanye can't go DefCon three on the Jews. That's like, <laughs> isn't that nuts? By the way, not, not really, I'll, I'll, <laughs> not really. dude. Nah, nah. I'll which say this: wrong, by the way. I didn't even know how much we owned everything. Because Con- <laughs> are you Jewish? Because Kanye started spitting, and this dude was off everything in a day, bro. <laughs> Are you Jewish? It was yeah. like, all oh, these rumors are kind of true. I didn't know that. <laughs> bro, he was going to fly to Mars. Stuff, Apparently, we own that too. You own Mars? <laughs> I'm know. dead, bro. I'm sure the Jews own it what by now. What the fuck do we own, dude? The Christians? We? Catholic. But Catholic? Boys, boys but butts. Churches. All right. Yeah. No, you guys own a it. lot of shit, though. White people own a lot. It's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Happens took a lot of land. I'm fucking around. There's only four guys I know. We're doing great. I'm fucking around. I love TZ going, 
I mean, you know, like, buddy. <laughs> you guys because are... white people do a lot. I'm like, yeah, I'm aware. Say, there's definitely, there's only 14 million Jews in the United States. Yeah, I'm just like, why are you counting them? White. So where are you counting them like that? <laughs> Yeah, how did you like know that, that number, dog? <laughs> how do you know what, that what number? Are you doing? Where did you why, why are you doing this? Holocaust <laughs> Wayne Man no, math? I, I ain't gonna lie to you, yo. Dead, bro. <laughs> it's, it's where you're counting. You guys have nice diversity on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys Dude, are good. two sponsors. We got all American. Yeah. <laughs> we got black. We got Dominican. We got yeah. uh, Jewish, Jewish American, Israeli American, if you want to call it. Yep. Anything but white, please. You go on birthright? Hmm? You go on birthright? Yeah, he's in his thing. Have you been on birthright? <laughs> Have a, bro. Every time I slide into that Jewish puss. <laughs> does that even make sense? I don't know. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I've <laughs> never <laughs> fucked a Jewish girl in life. <laughs> really? I have. This guy is unbelievable. Corinne Fisher's Jewish. Um, yeah. oh, um, is that true. well known or did yeah, you just well break known. that? Okay. All right. <laughs> 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 like, Whoa, all right. <laughs> we, uh, we dated for Very a while. Well oh, known. for real? Yeah. Oh, all right. I didn't know she was Jewish, though. Mm hmm. I thought she was like Dude, Catholic. she came to dope It's funny you don't know it's funny you don't know that. That was like my identity for a year. <laughs> you know what's to... funny? The person who tweeted holy shit on the A train was her. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's funny. It's pretty funny. She came and doped up and performed while you, he was in Mexico and she went after me, dude. Dude, she killed. Dude. <laughs> she yeah, killed? She, killed she went after you. Yeah. He was bro yeah. shitting on me. Yeah. Kill it. She killed. Bro. That's the worst. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> she killed. Yeah, yeah. So um TJ. Yeah. Was the last time you be killed? I'm John. It's the last time you killed. Bro. I don't know why. I, I, so didn't like, I, was, I didn't like the idea of like, oh, well, we be killing now. Matt, do you have killing. that video that I sent you? Give me a sec. Okay, it's in your email. So you guys, uh, I was <laughs> somebody posted this press conference of Adrian Broner. I love it. I'm Brody? already into it. I'm already into Dude, it. Dude, it is so. I'm already Wait, into Adrian it. Adrian Brody or Broner? Broner. Broner. Who's Broner? Boxer. Broner's the boxer that humps people while he's boxing. Yeah, yeah. He's a wild guy. I've seen that. Yeah, he's an idiot. But this dude. Also on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this dude was like mad humble. Yeah. And he was so sweet to him. This is new though or the old one where he's doing old, this, this shit? Is, this is, oh. But is it a press conference? This is okay. a press conference. Okay. And then a A B goes up there. And just proceeds. Who's AB? Adrian Broner. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. Um, nah, AB is Anthony Bourdain. No, no, the it's guy Antonio for, Brown. Antonio, Antonio Brown is AB. Yeah. When you say AB for you. Adrian, I'm like, that yeah, confuses me. It's like me. USC and USC. I'm not going to get nitpicky okay. on the story. No, no, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, guys. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, for you guys to confuse your black dude. people. <laughs> Um, like DC did. Oh, like, well, we did it. We did it. DC did it like seven minutes too. in. It was like seven minutes. All right, go on. So, um, Adrian oh, Brody. Just use context. Clues, guys. You know Adrian what I mean? Talking about one guy. Adrian Brody. Ten forty-five. So he's fighting Sean Porter. Oh, yeah. Sean Porter is such a nice dude. Sean Porter is a good boxer too, though. Yeah, and you yeah. see Mayweather. Mm -hmm. He's from the Mayweather camp, you know. And just press play. Why now? The Mayweather Boxing Club. Hold on. Hold on. This suit is so funny. Next up, none other than Adrian, the problem, Bron. The problem, the pro bro. He divides a family, and you're about to see how. Um, <laughs> mm. Mm. I gotta start it off like everybody else, you know. Thanks to God. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course. We gonna go. We gonna go ahead and turn left. You know. Thank Al Heyman and Big Bro. And Oh, Wait, pause it. I'm sorry. I was. I thought he was gonna be like, "Thank God." No, nah, no, nah, we're gonna turn left. The devil. Thank the <laughs> devil. I, I was like, "Yo, no way." He's about to fight on the behalf of the devil. No, he's still black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the AB show. This is the start of the AB show, and y'all getting it first live in person. Press pause. So he's taking the press name AB. I want to say one thing. Sean Porter was so, um, when I mean kind, he was so fucking kind, dude. He was so sweet. You say when guy. he went up there and did when he, he went up there. That's how you have to skip all of that shit. You I want all the kind shit. I, I skipped all the kind. Shit. I just want you to. I want to emphasize how nice Sean Porter was. Dude. You think that was a play? Sean Porter's a nice dude. What do you, mean? you think that was a play? Because you know how like when somebody's talking shit to you, and you kind of just don't sit. You just sit there and don't respond. People are like, oh, you're kind of winning because like you're not saying shit nah. back. No, I. You think it, you think being nice, he was just a nice dude. I think he's just a nice. He's guy. like so that. He's what like what that. does he end up saying? He's end up. Yeah. Okay. Adrian Bonner just goes like sell himself. It's coming real hey. soon. All the Look, he sounds like Sorry, who's that? Who's that comic from LA? That's Sean nice Porter. Guy. That's Sean Porter. Yeah. Yo, he Ten looks 40. like he just got done marching for rights. Like, Who the fuck is that guy? He was looks dressed. like Bill Clinton, no? Who? He just like he was a the politician. That looks like the guy that Kanye is def conning three. Thank <laughs> 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 right, Al Heyman and Big Bro and all that good stuff. But we gonna go ahead and let everybody know like uh He goes 
This is the AB show. This is the start of the AB show. And y'all getting it first live in person. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm fighting Sean Porter, a football player. And I'm fighting his dad. It's like I'm fighting his dad because when he get his check, the dad, the check come in his dad's name and then he pays Sean. And then he makes Sean sign a check and then he go deposit it in a joint account. Okay, pause it. I, I'm sorry, Kev. I know this dude is probably very scary in the ring, but this is one of those shit talk where I'm just like, <sighs> you, I, I should have to wait three minutes for one Marty, second. You gotta, to you, gotta, you gotta, you gotta, let it, you gotta let it build. Is it? Is, you gotta I'm let it build. build. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're you're doing too much right now. I'm, just I'm, let it build. No, no, I'm, I'm doing too much. Yeah. This dude sitting here with clear glasses, seventeen chains. Dude, that's he's a millionaire, bro. He's a black millionaire. Let black millionaire millionaire shine. What? Dude. That was. Oh, <laughs> Let a black millionaire hey, shine, hey, dude. You was back in Southern. I I visit Floyd House a lot. He's, so I see him. I see him. I see him at the U.S. Bank in Southern. Is all spending Sean's money. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he got the better cars. He got he got the big Jeep, the big boy Jeep. You gotta you gotta hop out of it to get out of it. Then he got the Corvette with the Lamborghini doors. He's just going through his garage well, of his enemy. Sean, he's a, no, he's either he's, catching an Uber or see y'all making this a joke. I'm just I'm just. It's a lot of money though to take an Uber everywhere. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. 2011 CTS, the little one. I argue that Uber's nicer than driving. I just yeah. don't get it. That's the difference between me and him because I pay my dad. You know, I pay my dad for for all of this <laughs> Wait. hell that I'm taking. You're not about to live your dream. Then he made him move to Las Vegas. That's his dream. I don't work for my dad. My dad worked for me. That's his dream that he wanted. He wanted to move out here. He got he got the girl that Sean was supposed to have. <laughs> Yo, Jesus. Even today he got on a better suit. All right, Kevin, I'm back on. <laughs> Kevin, you got me. Keep going. Oh my God, they put up, they live together. <laughs> Damn, I mean, let him live. Is let this gonna get us copyright? I mean, no, no, I don't. Know. Know. I hope it's not. not. It's just not gonna happen for me. So the person who since they both get the check. If I kick both of the ass, would I get paid twice? <laughs> All right, press pause. We don't have to watch the rest. Uh, of it. Uh, it's you know it's dumb crazy? logic, but so, it's fun. Just Sean Porter. Uh, I saw an interview recently. Him talking about the press conference, and he's sitting there. And I was, he was like, "I'm just sitting there. Like, how does he know all that?" Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah. So Sean <laughs> Porter said that, dog. Yeah. And then, and then his dad turns by and goes. He oh, off, he offered me twenty five. Actually, grand his dad starts yelling ranking. at him. Oh, for real? His dad in his press conference goes, "What the fuck, you bro? You don't know what you don't know what we Yo, do." He, by the way, when it cuts over to the dad, he's in a full Porsche, beautiful uniform. suit. <laughs> he's in a, in a Versace <laughs> suit, dog. He's oh, in a dad. Prada suit, dog. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Oh, oh, hey, he's he's a, a, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. He's spending his money, man. How the fuck? His pops is spending his money, bro. I don't spend none of his money. Look at this dude's neck, though, on the side. Yeah, see there. That looks crazy. Yo, but he's the man, bro. He, he look at those glasses, bro. He you deserves everything he steals like, from his yo, son. He, uh, <laughs> he is the energy of um, what's that football player? Uh, on, uh, uh, um, Julius from Remember the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember Julius. He doesn't look left side, <laughs> right side. <laughs> I steal my mom's, my son's money. <laughs> <laughs> Save his account. Hey, Check his his account. dad does have like um cool. fucking what's that guy's name? He me and my uh, by me the way, Sean called his dad after that Prince conference and was like, "We got to change." You told me shit. we were I was getting paid thirty grand a fight. No, oh, dude, that's they, yeah, that would be crazy. No, he knows, but like it's crazy because like me and Josh, uh, you ever seen Birdman? The, the movie or cartoon? No, the the the, the, rapper? the rap mogul. Yeah, right. I love yeah. these names. Oh, remember when he kissed Lil Wayne back in like 2014? Oh, remember, a, that? remember that? Remember how much of a thing that was yeah. in high school yeah, yeah, to yeah. talk that about? That was so like, weird, right? That's what I like mimic it like for a sketch. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it right now. So, <laughs> yo, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just did a podcast with Godfrey, and we just like we were just talking about how gay you have to be. I got a name drop from the dog. You know what I mean? I got a name drop. Yo, Kevin's moving on up, bro. Dizzy, what the fuck you doing, bro? Can I tell you something? I'm so disappointed in myself because I saw Bobby Kelly in the green room and I wanted to go up to him. It was the perfect time. Nobody was talking to him. Nobody, like, he was just sitting there. He's just looking around and like, no one's going to say hello. And I wanted to say what's up to him and say congratulations on the special and the weight loss and talk about like, because I'm a big boy and I have, like, he's he said a joke where he was like, I'm on my fifth fat. And 
Oh, I yeah, laughed Lalo, yeah. so fucking that, hard, bro, bro, because I'm like... I, I thought about you when he said it. I'm not going to lie. I did. I was you watching, guys are both laughing I was watching because of your weight. I was like, yo. <laughs> I love it. You're laughing going, dude, I can relate. He said it. I can... It, it dude, goes, Kevin can I, relate. I know Kevin's thinking about this right now. Yeah. So, yo, when he said it, because I was doing a joke like that, and I was like, fuck, I can never do it again, because he has the best bit about it. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't go up to him. I was like, ah, shit, I couldn't bring myself to do it, I bro. feel lame. I, I don't like that, though. Yeah. So, I, like, saying hi to people in the business yeah. that, like, we want... Like, I saw Hannibal one time. This is the lamest thing I've ever done. I saw Hannibal, and he's on the street in Greenwich Village, and I've never... I've met people, like... I met Louis one... I met different people that I'm like, mm -hmm. I've never asked for a photo. I don't care. But I met Hannibal, and he kind of looked different, mm -hmm. right? Because I guess he's been in... Burris, Ghana. Right? Yeah, Hannibal okay. Burris. He's been in Ghana for, like, the last, like, year or something like that. And he looked real so he skinny. <laughs> no, he's oh, real no, skinny. Okay, okay. He's real skinny, right? Because they don't have food. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, but he, he was real skinny yeah, and I yeah. went up to him I was like are you Hannibal Burst? and he's like yeah yeah and I just like froze and I was like oh can I get a photo <laughs> and he goes Nah, <laughs> I just left, dude. Yo, it was he wild. Would, though, I will dude. say he said uh, it exactly <laughs> how I believe he would I say went, it. I went nah. up to like Eric Griffin, um, uh, who's on uh, Workaholics. He, he and, just um, performed at Skankfest, didn't he? Yeah, so yeah. I saw him in the green room, and I saw him a couple times, and I was like, "Yo, no way!" And uh, I saw him like we made like, like co eye contact, and I was like, "Hey, what up?" And then I just saw him later. I was like, "Yo, young comic, big fan, just love your work on Workaholics." And he was like, "Oh, thanks," and just moved on from there. I think my cool moment was uh seeing Tony Hinchcliffe being like, is he going to remember the conversation that we had last year? And he saw me and did one of those, I remember you. That dude has a great memory. Yeah. Tony Hinchcliffe. Because like, he be on um, Kill Tony and then he'll look at the person. I remember you do the joke that person yeah. did. Yeah. And be like, you sucked back then. Like, yeah. it's the, he's the best, bro. No, no. Tony's, a, uh, Tony's one of those dudes where like, you think he's going to be an asshole. You meet him. He's the sweetest dude in the world. Actually, I want to uh, talk a little bit about Skate Fest before we get out of here. Kevin, uh, you didn't. Have, did you have a good time? Uh, yes, I did. I had a great time, but I'm what? a. I'm a, I'm a it's like Chappelle said, like like watching some comics go up there, go on stage, and I'm like, wait, who are you? And it's like watching somebody else fuck your bitch. Like I just want to be up there. So like I'm not gonna go that long again unless I'm booked. Were you ready for the party? That was yo, bro. Honestly, y'all, I gotta give it up to these gangs fans, bro. Yeah. These people are like burning. It's like a juggalo burning man. Yeah. It's like they're all yeah. passing you. Drugs. They're so fucking kind, bro. Yeah. Chris Vega, I said, Chris, you got some shrooms? Oh my god! No, no, no. I, I got, he goes, I got, you got some shrooms, Chris? He goes, you need some shrooms? I'm like, yeah, I need some shrooms. And they're about to do the comedy jam. So there's everyone in the room. So everyone's in the room, but it's for some reason really quiet. Yeah. Right. And Vega just stands up. Not stands up. He, he's yeah. there. And he's, he goes, hey. Does anyone have some shrooms? And everyone for just kind of turns. Sanchez? And they look and they go, oh, like something like Kevin Fager's doing a bit. And Fager just proceeds to go, no, no. I'm serious. <laughs> Does anyone have shrooms for Kevin this Sanchez? This went on for like two minutes. And before. Then you got him? Yeah. Dude, some guy comes up to me. He goes, hey, man, I know that was embarrassing because you're a nobody. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. Who is this, Bobby I'm Kelly? Gonna, no, by, the way, by the way, I know this is because you're you're embarrassing because you're nobody. Wait, what's your name again? Yeah. <laughs> so oh he goes, I'm gonna go to my room. I have the best rooms in the world. Uh, I just can't take them all. I'm gonna go to my room. Give me your number, and, and then we fuck later. Nice. <laughs> no, Hell that's yeah. Fuck with DC, yeah. <laughs> No, that's great. No, he gave me some shrooms. Three to four it. times, too, I heard. Yeah. Three to four times. <laughs> no, you like to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Like, Libido Kevin, jumping. Kevin, where were you all day Sunday? You go, bro, it's fucking. Yeah. All day? Three to four times. Wait, how'd you get your mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> how did you get them? Did you pay for them? No, no, no. Uh, dude, no. Bro, everybody there, was so, the everybody there was so giving, so fucking kind, yeah. but they're all people... Who you look reckless with, yeah. and don't have custody of their child? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I mean, uh, uh, go look at Karen Feehan's Instagram. She had like, a really funny clip. She goes, "Don't take this the wrong way, but you guys are all the same shade of ugly." <laughs> <It's> pretty, <laughs> it was, it's funny. It's like something, just something like that, where it's like that was a running bit of just like with Game Fest, where like, wow, this audience is. Wow. <laughs> just, like, there was also the running bit that there were way more hot girls than anyone expected this year. That's about is right. Is that true? There is. Yeah, there was. was. There? Yeah, there was they probably a few thought it was chicks. something else, though. No, a lot of them do, no. but a lot you know of them don't. Girls. Oh, Skankfest, what is this? I will say, it, someone tweeted at Skankfest being like, got dragged to this. We're sitting in a room waiting for uh, music. What is it? I thought it was comedy. What is this? Why, why are people just standing around listening to people 
talk like they had a picture of like po- of bot of like Legion of Skanks po- podcast. Like why people just stand around listening to other people speak? This is so weird. I was like, standing around listening to other people speak has literally been in, like humans since like the beginning of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, mm-hmm. since Moses. You you're on Twitter. Yeah. Tweeting. That is Reading the other evolved version yeah. <laughs> of standing up in the, the middle of a group version. of people and speaking. Yeah. You dumb bro. <laughs> okay, you hate women. All right. you hate women. That's your thing, <laughs> DC. <laughs> nah, DC Mine. hates the gays. <laughs> yo, yo, you guys you are hate? unbelievable, huh? dude. Who do you hate? <laughs> Who do I hate? The women, gays. <laughs> What? You just spit in my ear. Who do I hate? I hate Jews. No, I, don't. <laughs> I love Jews. Yeah. Jews, Dil- have, Jews Dil- have been kinder to me than my own people. Uh, to tell you the truth, I hate yeah. my. Owe them some money, father. you know. You'll find I out. I hate my <laughs> biological. <laughs> <laughs> Owe them buddy, some money. Yeah, you know? I don't like. I don't <laughs> like. I don't like that mentality. <laughs> you owing money is. <laughs> Bad on you. It's bad Pay on your you. debts. You see how they shit me? Yeah. Pay your debts. He just got. He just it's got a contract. It's a contract. Pay I your don't debts. know. My hands Pay are your clean. Debts. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, no, no, yo, Danny. Kevin hates what Kevin hates is actually like vitriol. Hatred is a new comic. For real? <laughs> That's bro, Kevin that true, hates yeah. a new comic, How long comic, have you been doing stand Five years. Five By the way, he doesn't mean So, like, what? Comic. Like, a first month guy? Or, yeah. like, a first year guy? Yeah. No. Why? Because they have no feel? No, 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 no. New energy. No, 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 no. He's talking to them for a while, and they're like, oh, you do comedy. He, they got a 10-minute conversation, like a month. Kevin's looking for an exit, bro. So, <laughs> no, as not, soon as they say that, he's looking for an exit of this conversation. First of all, I'm mad kind to new comics. Until you You're a very nice guy. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. But the reason some new comics do weird shit, mm-hmm. like they, they start listing off their accomplishments, <laughs> and I'm like, how are you better than me right now? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I just sometimes they. Bro, he refers to them as audience members. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally how he refers to them all the time. Audience yeah, there's a members who want to do what I do. New comics, yeah. So it was like 15 people in the crowd. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> I'm like, so right. two tickets sold, but yeah. 14 comics came yeah, through yeah. them, bro. That's 15 people. Yeah, That's they've been doing comedy for two weeks. <laughs> like, all right, Kev. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Nah, I don't hate new comics, bro. I don't want that fucking out there. I just <laughs> I don't want that out there. That's not true. Under the I don't game, want that <laughs> out there. But sometimes they just do shit. It is like, yo, yeah. bro, I'm about to smack the shit out of you. I mean, TJ, you. Know <laughs> I had somebody come up to me. I don't know if they were a comic or not. I just finished killing, and <laughs> they come to me and they go, shake my hand. They go, no, no, no. they go. You did your job. Jesus Christ. Dog? <laughs> give me that handshake back. Dog? That's my fucking response to that. Dude? Give me that handshake back. <laughs> and there was a, here's the thing, if it was a guy, I probably would have, I would have been like, who the fuck are you, bro? It was a girl? It was a chick. She was a black girl, kind of cute, kind of not. And I didn't know what to do. She just stumped me, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, she yeah. hit me with the, you did. After all her friends were like online, they were like, you were so funny. She like had to humble. I don't know if she was nagging <laughs> me. I don't know what she was doing, bro, but that shit hurt. Yeah, that's weird. That shit hurt so much that one line. No fat in that joke. Yeah. <laughs> no fat. Straight to the point. Straight bro. to the point. Jeez. You did your job, bro. You know never gonna, and I, bro, she just vanished. <laughs> She Maybe just, it was a figment of your imagination. <laughs> Maybe it was, it was your inner voice materialized yeah, as a charities. black woman for some reason. How's your relationship with your dad? Maybe it was. I don't that. have one. Oh, well, they, yeah. all right. <laughs> non existent don't, don't bring up dads in this room unless it's to me. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that's so <laughs> fucked, right? <laughs> like, Sorry. Fucking <laughs> pussy. Now I feel bad. Dad. Sorry. No, you no, no it's fine. It's fine. My dad didn't know I existed. Of course. I've never heard someone say you have a dad's mustache. That mustache is dad approved. Dad's still here, dog. Of course. What kind of a dad do you have? Uh, I have a dad. Okay, he like what, is like what does that mean? <laughs> he's a, he's a good dad. He, <laughs> you look like you drink beers with your pops. Yeah, you know well, I'm you sober. Go. I don't drink. Oh. Uh, my Stop. dad is a good dad. He works. He works real hard. He has like. I live in like a small town. He owns like a sign business. Okay. So like, it's not. Is your dad? We, I live like a, a about his regular life. I is grew your up dad like that reg- kid on like, TikTok that makes those regular, signs? Re- like normal. Yeah, he does that shit. Yeah. That, you yeah. saw? Have you seen that kid on yeah, TikTok? Yeah, I know that guy. He does. That's your dad. Yeah. No, that's not my dad. But you know. Cool. Is there? Uh, I, I want to ask DJ. Is there uh, anything that comes to mind that you hate about comedy? Because I mean, you do. You, you oh. go around. You're around the city enough to see. Yeah. Younger 
comics and any what, what is there like do you, if you have pet peeves about comedy or you're pretty low well my low, pet low peeve key? is like and it is just part of the game and something you can't change something i do is and this might be like lame to say but like the clips and stuff man i hate post I, every time i post mm-hmm. i'm like oh i hate it i don't want to not that i'm like it's gonna burn them whatever i'm just like it's just like we're all playing this game I just want to do stand up. I, I don't want to like it's post the game of the acquiring a fan base. I don't know if this is um I think yeah. maybe I've said this before but it's like do you think Jimi Hendrix would have posted 7 times a week? No. Here's the do thing you though. Think Jimi Hendrix would have had a posting schedule. Here's the thing though. No. Here's the thing. And I've ra- this is how I've rationalized it in my head. I read Kevin Hart's book who uh, I do I really like him as a stand up, especially his earlier stuff. Yeah. But in his book he would do so in my opinion, the social media clips and shit is the business side yes. to acquire fans, yes. get all this shit. Yes. Kevin Hart would stay at the shows and give and business cards. The, yes, the that's emails. the fucking Clip doing emails. clips of yes. his time. So I'm like, mm. as much as I hate it, it's work. part of the business. Mm. Yeah, get because the work. even if your material isn't ready, the reality of what you're doing is trying to build a fan base around what you think is funny to sell tickets. Too. Exactly, yeah. just so that people can want to see you. But yeah. here is the downside of the clips, as opposed to like handing out business cards. I so Kevin Hart. And Louie and all these people, they headline these clubs headline when cool. people around them were like, you're ready. Yeah. We're going to bring you. Yeah. Boom. Yes. Nowadays, a fucking first week comic that's, that's can get point. a heckler who fucking throws, you know, right, whatever. Right, right. And they blow up. And they, that, no, that wasn't a shade to that girl at all. That was just, I swear to God. <laughs> Bullshit. No, no I swear to God. God. He got that JFL, not, bro. Was, she's hilarious. Not the only, I, I swear to God. not I'm, the only one. I know what you're saying, though. Like, people go viral. from nothing. And next thing you know, you can sell out two weeks. I was telling David. I promise you that was not. Of the key. I've seen Shade to three her comments She's very do this. Funny. You want to know the key? Go make like 17 videos in a row. Like, do it for a while. Just do Trump impressions. Yeah, you could do anything, bro. And that's the other thing, no, too. Do that I hate, Trump like, impressions. Like, SEO comedy. Yeah, like, yeah literally. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. literally. Yeah. Somebody's at yeah, we'll the same time. Somebody, sorry. Somebody's at like, somebody's, somebody that, and people do this and it's fine and people are really good at this. It's just not like yeah, what TV's I like. breaking it down. But it could blow up on, so like Kanye's big. So just writing a joke about Kanye, boom. And that's like topical humor. That's fine. You could do that. Stay in the algorithm. But it's, yeah. yeah. But like, I don't know. Is that what you want to talk about? SEO do people want to talk about? You get where you see. You feel SEO like you're, you're trying if, to keep if up. If that is who you are, do it. Mm-hmm. But to do it just to try to blow up because Kanye's popular right now, I don't like I it. I even want this to be a clip. I want to say I can, right I now that. to everyone out there, if you're a comedy fan, if you have comedy clips across your profile, I want you to start picking out which ones do you think are SEO comedy. Because there's a lot of funny I, it, people it doing matter. stand-up. It doesn't it matter. It does. It doesn't matter. What, what what comics need to stop doing, I told David this. I was like, bro, you've been doing comedy for like four months. Do not put a clip out. Yeah. That's basically yeah. what I told him. I was like, yeah. don't put a clip out. Keep performing more before you just decide to, you know, start just throwing out stand-up in its worst form. Like, you just did your first I show. I saw one of your friends. I told ago. you. I saw one of your friends, a newer comic, uh, post a clip. And I was like, dude, you got you to gotta tell this person to take this down. Uh, yeah. the, By the way. the Grizzly Pair Midnight Show getting. Yeah. People, <sighs> how, do you, how do you say we're getting ha-has? Well, ha-has. People older than us, by the way, probably mm-hmm. say the same shit about us. Like, course, who the fuck sure. are we, dude? We're yeah. four or five years yeah. in. Why would we yeah. post? Nah. 100%. It's like, but also, also, by the way, I'm a hypocrite. I'm putting out clips. <laughs> yeah, we have one to. Of we career. have to. You yeah. put clips out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I, I also believe. I wish it wasn't. I, I also was be- three months ago that I was saying I would never post a heckler clip on my page. I posted one the other day. Mm-hmm. I would do. I would do any. Bro, I yeah. would post I just want to be able to do this for a living. I literally post Yeah, of course. So. I want to pay my bills with this shit, and I believe I can do forty-five to an hour if I yeah. re- if I need to right now. And here's the thing: I don't know if we're ending soon, but here's the thing: like you post the clips, bro, you get the fans, which makes you better at stand-up. So it's like this catch twenty-two that like you gotta keep fucking going. That's what I'm saying because you need you need to sell tickets if you want to earn that time on stage. You're yeah, running, for them to catching, give you that time, running, you know catching, what I mean? Like yeah. it's. I hate how serious this got about comedy, but yeah. it's the, you asked me the question I, of what I, I hate, I, and that's it's what, what I, everyone thinks about when they buy themselves. Podcast unless I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> Um, guys, uh, I know you gotta get out of here. So we no, it's all good. He never texted me, so we're fine. We okay, so you Let's do not have that spot. Three minutes. You can TJ, do whatever. TJ Francis. Yeah. Comedian. Yeah. Trying to be. Not, not. No, you doesn't are. have a spot. I've been here for a minute. No, you are. No, you've been here what, four and a half years. I mean, like four years, you said. Uh, four years, yeah. Um, where's, um, I, I, I want to just like transition. I mean, like the, the Kanye shit's fun. I don't want to just do topical stuff. So it is fun to talk comedy because I know the first portion of this podcast is us just dicking around. But I also always want to give you a chance to highlight the shit that you've done you know yeah. in your comedy career because one thing i've always said before doped up like we had Derek dresser on geo before they had even um their podcast was fully up and running so it's like cool to see people grow and I teach you, you're already someone that i want to invite back on the podcast oh, yeah. so i want to have i want to talk about this shit now sure we'll talk about shit again but uh like when you, you started stand-up what four years ago you know like, from what's your New Jersey? what's your happiest moment in stand-up in stand-up like, so like, far like yeah. your oh shit that was awesome moment 
Uh, if don't, don't Andre say, don't Kim, you guys know Andre? Yeah. I mm-hmm. go on the road with Andre a decent amount, oh. and uh, we went to Rhode Island to his brewery. And I just did 15 minutes. And I was like, it was like the tightest I've done. And I was like, yeah, yeah that was that. When I got off stage, I was like, that was, that was it. That was one of the best sets I've had. Yeah. Did you get it recorded? I did, bro, but then I fucking deleted it. I don't know where it's at. I, for real, I was looking the other day. I'm like, I don't know where this is. Damn. This is. Cause I clipped it up and I guess I deleted. Oh. Yeah. So, but whatever. Oh, whatever. It's all for those clips, baby. <laughs> I know, right? The clips are killing me, bro. Uh, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, that's what that's. Uh, that was then. You know, there's a. That's the show where you get off stage and you're like, oh, fuck yeah, uh, no, dude. I'll to, sell my daughter tell me the low. for this. <laughs> tell me the low. You know what I mean? I'll <laughs> sell my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> tell me the low. Every mic ever. <laughs> yeah, Every yeah. day. It's doped cool. up and dying, but now I'm uh, <laughs> No, I don't know. It's just fucking, you know. There's more lows, I think. I'm also like, uh, I don't want to say like self critical, but I, I think more things I'm like, that sucked than was good. Mm, so like sure. more yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember me. the last time I performed. Though, I was like, "Yeah, you just killed." Dude, me. I was talking to. Um, yeah, I man, rarely man, the the one that was the one the few times, but that one time it's like it I feels feel like I'm just not amazing. Yeah, I was talking to Sarah, <laughs> yeah. Sarah from the Come Study, and it was funny. We were sitting there talking while I'm jerking Sarah off, trying to have, you know having a yeah. you know having a having a meeting. And doped up in dying world, she's the Come Study scientist. She's whatever she wants to be. I don't want to get. Fucking, <laughs> I don't need these. Well, she does the bitch. She was like, "When you put the lab coat on, so you have the whole sexy experience." I was like, uh, "Sarah, we both have partners. Stop it, mm-hmm. partners. <laughs> Stop this." Oh, does she really? And um, <laughs> I hate that she, I just. Did you just find out? <laughs> no, I, I was. I was just like trying to figure. Out. I heard her say she had a boyfriend, right? She yeah, she had a boyfriend. But uh, no, I was, I was talking to her about this where she was saying like, "Yeah, I want to be a scientist. I want to keep doing this." I was like, "You know how stand up? We're talking about that." And she's like. But I also want to pursue stand up. So I'm like in this weird medium. So I'm like, I never had that thought where I'm lucky enough to go, oh, my dumb brain literally only likes stand up. Yeah. Like I oh, cannot, yeah, yeah. I, I can only do this and this only where like my money has to be in this world and podcasting or something where yeah. I'm a psycho enough where I'm like, oh, like even when we were working at the bar, I was like actively would tell them every day, I'm like, Oh, the second I can leave here, like, yeah, this is it's over, this is money to fund the other thing. Of course, yeah, mm-hmm. like, I have no interest interest in, in anything else. Yeah, yeah. but this is the, I hate this talking serious no, no, I, about. Uh, I feel so lame. It feels <laughs> undeserved. You know? Oh, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> who the <laughs> fuck am I? It feels undeserved. No, but yeah. that's, but that's in two but, years I quit. This is but this TJ, is what gets no, played. Yeah. yeah. Oh about, wow, I did good at a brewery show in Rhode <laughs> Island. I was about to end the podcast. <laughs> We're still going. I uh, just had to save it from sounding real like pretentious and like, no, yeah. oh, dude, I had a good sound. No, yeah. People yeah. were like, oh, you have to be, fuck you gotta be your first salesman. People. You gotta sell. I know, sell, but I'm not. Sell. Do you remember when I told you I got fired and I did this just job? Take a for picture true. of that fucking mustache, baby boy. Yeah, that's true. Send it out. Just mustache it Jesus up. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just shake your drink. Are you out of snacks? Are you done? No, no, I'm just, I'm just wrapping I, I, my we, shit We up. lost DC. He's out no, of snacks. No, DC, it is crazy to me that you came here saying you didn't want to drink. Yeah, And yeah, I yeah. thought you I had got that it. drink from gas. No. And then you said, no, I pulled it out of my I bag it from work. From work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Jesus I did, Christ. I did. What does DC stand for? Daquan Siobhan. And my last Disappointing comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my last name is Williams. Has that, have a lot of people asked that? Disappointing comic? Not really. He just uh, he likes to make up like oh, no, I, and shit. D- yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Daquan Chavon? Daquan, yeah, Daquan Chavon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's very funny that it rhymes. I don't know. Why. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it rhymes either. <laughs> it's very Irish. It'd be like if cool. my name is TJ for Timothy John. It'd be Timothy like John. Timothy okay. Jimothy. I forgot you were TJ Francis. Timothy Jimothy Francis. It is pretty funny that for a black guy your name rhymes. Huh? I don't think being black is anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a rapper. Because he literally just said Tim, Jim, and Francis. Yeah. Basically his name. No, my name is Tim Timothy. I was no, saying was, it'd be was, like if my name was, was My name is Timothy John. Timothy John. Yeah. Oh. So DC, that was called a riff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Speaking of riff, guys, yo, guys, come see me um, no. November 2nd, dude. I'll be performing at the stand for some reason. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, didn't, didn't say during his plug. Well, not during the plug. Yeah, plugs. I forgot. The Wait the show. Are you doing that riff? Are you doing the no, rift? No. What is that? The, the rift show. That's what the word rift is what made you think of the stand. No, I'm do, no, I'm doing right money. All right, we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> done Guys, thank you so much for watching Don't Have Been Dying. The, the Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. show. Thank you for sending your Sunday mornings with us or whenever you're listening. Yeah. Guys, remember, go follow the podcast at Doped Up Comedy. Go follow the boys. Me, Kevin, DC, TJ. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Bye-bye.